Hello there, bitizens, and welcome to the Killer Bits. My name is Francesca, and this week we are playing Diablo's Barbarian Warrior, Sonia, uh, who you can see here on a wolf if the uh, core didn't get in the way. And comp wise, we have uh, Abatha, Sergeant Hammer, Sonia, Rexar, and Chen. So we have three warriors and two specialists. They have Kelfar, Zeratul, Zagara, Johanna, and Stitches. Uh, so we'll see how, how well this kind of works out. Um, though this map, it is good to have warriors on because you tend to have extended team fights near the, uh, near the immortals. So we'll kind of see how that works out. We're going to be doing a kind of more damage centric build. Uh, basically we're going to buff our auto attacks to provide us with tankiness whilst also being able to deal damage. So we're going to grab war paint. Um, and we've got our Q here. That was a really nice, uh, combo. Like, we both went in at the same time there and, and got first first blood. That was just, like, chance that we both cast it at the same time. Um, so this is this is Sonya. Her E is a spin that also heals her uh, based on the damage it does. Um, and her Q is a chain or a, a uh, grapple, I guess, that pulls you forward. We're actually going to keep sieging here. Um, so, for example, if I press Q here, I pull in towards the wall. And that gives me fury. I don't actually have mana. My trait is that I gain fury instead of mana, which I get from hitting things and from dealing damage. Um, so I'll try and show you guys that here. Uh, for example, my uh, my basic attacks and my, my spin, for example, used up fury. My Q generates fury. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't quite get him. So what I was trying to do there was do damage. I didn't realize Zeratul was here because I didn't see the shimmer, uh, which is my bad. And Sonya is actually quite squishy early on. Um, you need to actually be quite careful in the early game because your basic attacks, yes, they heal you, but like you're still not that tanky. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Rexar died up top and Chen died down bot. Hmm. We're gonna need to be a little bit careful. But however, I can I can uh, Q here, so I'm gonna use my Q to generate fury and then my spin. So long as your Q hits something, that's really what's important in this game. You need to make sure you're hitting things with your Q. Holy crap, this knight is- oh my god, I forgot how much early damage Zagara does. Zagara's just like, what's that? You have health? Not anymore. Um, so we're gonna need to be a little bit careful here. Oh, it would help if I could hit. Oh, he's got his blink up. And now I'm gonna have to kill this terror because otherwise it's gonna kill me. Um, so we'll, we'll deal with that. If we run away while we're spinning, we'll gain health. Um, which is actually quite good. I've got Abathur on me, so I can actually back off quite safely. Um, but I'm gonna need to be a little bit careful here. Uh, I'm gonna use auto attacks here just to gain health. And I'm gonna try and actually just hit the, ter the what's he called, the fury. Oh crap, this, this, I'm gonna have to hit this. I can't just let it hit me, because um, it does too much. And I need to spin here to just gain health back. Damn it, she got me. So she used her, 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 um, uh, basically roly poly things. I don't know what they're called. To, to deal damage there and I died. I need to be a little more careful here. Um, the enemy team unfortunately is hitting the terror but we're not and this is a mistake you see happen a lot. We're too busy trying to kill people and the enemy team is like hitting stuff. Then Chen jumped in and ha by himself as the rest of our team backed out. Um, so we, I think at this point we just need to do damage to the terror as fast as we can. They're gonna kill ours and we're gonna have to defend. So if we can do as much damage as we can now and we won't have to deal that damage later. So it's, it's a win for everyone. Uh, oh no. So Zeratul, what he's actually trying to do there is just beat us away from stopping them. We did about half, which is, you know, to be expected. Uh, the Guardian will always go to the weakest lane. So here you see it going towards towards bot lane. Um, so we'll go defend that. Uh, the enemy team might try and push top or they might try and push bot. It's interesting to see what they do. We've got quite a push there because we took a camp. Um, so so it's, it's kind of interesting to see the, the push. Oh crap. Uh, I pulled in as he started doing his, his punch. And I should have known he was going to do that. Because they, they kind of follow a set pattern. Uh, Chen can probably back off. Though he is, what he's doing here is just zoning out the enemy team. He's just trying to stop them from doing too much. And you'll notice that we've actually taken this out very quickly. It is only the first one, of course. Stitch has missed his hook. I'm going to back off. I can tap well again, so I'll just do that. Chen came in there to try and try and help me for sure. Oh, maybe we didn't have a camp, we just had minions. For some reason I thought we had a camp because they were throwing spears, but it's just that the minions in this map look kind of funky. Get the orb, get the orb. He's not gonna get the orb. So I wanna go in, but I just need to be a little careful. There we go, I can go in now. Oh, or I can get pulled out of my spin. That works too, I guess. It doesn't really work, but it, it happened. Uh, so here we're just trying to spin and gain health. I'm actually gonna just go back to base. I, I shouldn't hang around with no health. This is kind of the mistake I make on Sonya. I'm like, oh, I can heal, so I should just hang around. But that, that doesn't work at all. 
Holy crap, they are doing a lot top. I didn't realize uh, so much was happening. I need to heal more. There we go. I accidentally ran out of base with, like, not very much health. Um, but I think in the long run we should be okay. We have, like I say, three tank characters on our team. Um, so we should hopefully be okay with this. I just need to make sure I'm landing my Q and stuff. Because that's, I think, the most important thing with Sonya. Make sure you hit your Q. Uh, but we've got a camp here, so we're safely just taking this camp. Chen should be okay down bot. He seems like he's doing alright by himself. Uh, and we, we took a camp, which is always good. And now I'm going to come around behind Kelfast. So this should... Oh, he stunned me. I stunned him as well. It was like a, a stun. A team stun. He's coming back in, so I'm just trying to zone him out here. We've got Zeratul behind us, which we don't want to deal with. Johanna kind of overextended there, I, I feel, anyway. So we should be able to kill her without too much bother or stitches. And now we try and save Hammer. And chase Zeratul. Zeratul doesn't have his blink, so we're actually okay to kill him there. And that's really good. We just killed two of their team um, before before the just as the terrors were spawning, which is huge. Um, so just gonna get get damage out as much as we can here. We're gonna use my W for damage because it does 200 per hit, and you'll notice that I kind of I'm leveling up quite quickly. We're also gonna grab the talent Ferocious Healing, which allows you to use your Fury to heal yourself. So you notice I know I've got more health, and then we'll use our Q to pull back in. Uh, and we're just gonna kind of try and do as much damage as we can as quickly as we can here. Sonya is coming, so Sonya, Johanna is coming in to try and do, do stuff, but uh, it's not really looking great for them. I'm hitting both things at the moment, so we're killing Johanna and we're killing, um, we'll Q her there, got the Q on her, and the Q does actually a lot of damage, um, but we're kind of, we're killing both things. Unfortunately, Abatha got picked off, probably by Zeratul, uh, just maybe he was soaking lane, which is, which is a clever thing to do, but he was probably soaking lane XP, and as a result of soaking lane XP, he took some damage, oh, back off. That was a really quick reaction there. Because the um, Guardians actually punch very, very, very quickly. So you need to be a little careful. I'm going to try and stand in front of uh, Chen here. And also try and kill... Oh, I need to heal with my with my one. There we go. We're just going to have to hit Stitches, I think. We're spinning and we're getting health. So this is kind of how you play Zonia. Do you want to get as much health back as you can by uh, by hitting things? Um, we need to be a little careful though, because they're gonna what they're gonna want to do is try and stop us from capping bot, even though we've almost killed it. Yeah, I need to tap well. That's a good point. Uh, and then we can go in. I think we basically we, there's not much we need to do to this, so we should try and do it. There we go. So basically, I need to deal a little damage. Ow, ow. Okay, yeah, team's here. Rexar's here. I'm gonna back off a little here. Uh, towards towards the team. There we go. Um. He he just needs to hit the, the the this thing. There we go, got it. So I went I went in there. I'm probably gonna die for it, but I wanted to guarantee us the immortal as quickly as we could, um, because if the enemy team then kills us all, we're gonna have a bad time. Unfortunately, they did just kill a lot of us in their turn, uh, which isn't ideal, uh, really. So we need to be be a little careful. Sergeant Hammer, I think she does more towards the late game as well. So I think like with her, she'll start to come online a little bit more later on. And we're doing decently. We've got 8,000 damage here, which is a nice amount of damage. They're going to kill our terror relatively quickly, so it's not the most useful thing, because we're not pushing with it. But if it's going to deal some damage to the lane, it's going to deal damage to the lane. Uh, I'm going to come bot and try and kill uh, Zagara. Zagara's not mobile. So you'll notice like, instinctively she ran away. Really, um... Ah. Oh. So really what should have happened there is Hammer should have been paying attention and should have actually attacked her, which she didn't do. We're gonna grab Wrath of the Berserker as our ultimate, which we will actually cast as we siege here, because what Wrath of the Berserker does is uh, a lot. It, um, basically, it, it's, it gives me attack damage uh, and also reduces the duration of silences and slows, and it lasts longer the more damage I do. So you'll notice that there's a bar at the bottom that's slowly but surely going down, but because I'm hitting things, it's not going down, and it's now on a 30 second cooldown. So I'll be able to cast this again in about 30 seconds. Oh, danger. So here we just got to, we got to just turn on him, basically. She missed her ult, which was perfect. Uh, I need to back off now. Oh, damn it. I uh, I shouldn't have gone in there. I should have zoned out Zeratul, which we did. There was a nice turnaround by Chen as we both hit him and then backed off. Chen also should have backed off. We we stayed in that fight too long, basically, was the problem. Um, here you can actually see Rexar doing something Rexar does best, is using Misha as a tank for jungle camps. So because she's tanking the camp, we're, we're doing all right. I died a little bit too much for sure, but I am also top hero damage. So the build, the build does work, I think. I think you get you get sustain from your healing, you get damage from your autos, and later on we'll get a bit of tankiness and mobility. We'll be grabbing Mystical Spear, and then at level 16, 
Uh, so this one is, is, is sometimes I pick Imposing Presence if they have like a Raynor or, I mean, they have a Zeratul who does a lot of auto attack damage, so I, I'm liable to maybe pick this one up because it slows your enemy basic attacks against you. Um, but Nerves of Shield is also good. It gives you uh, a shield of 30% of your health for five seconds, so it's just a little bit more tankiness while you also heal up with like your spins and your autos. Uh, I need to go around this way. He's here somewhere. No, I think he's... I don't know where he's gone. I did see him, though. Ah, un un unfortunate. I dismounted there by accident, just trying to mount up. We need to defend top lane as a team. Like, this is what's happening. We need to group. Because what the enemy team is doing here is they're grouping up and they're taking structures and they're killing things. What we're not doing is grouping up and taking structures and killing things. And we need the whole team before we're going to go in on anything. So we need everyone here. So now we have the team we can go. I'm going to come around the back and I'm going to look to kill... Uh, kill us. Oh, I missed! And I hit stitches. That's really bad. We also need to make sure we pop our ult because we're going to get that bonus damage. In a team fight, you want to make sure you're popping that ult. And use my one for... Oh, I got eaten. I was going to say use my one for healing. Thanks for taking me out of the... Oh, he... Uh... I don't know what he tried to do there. I need to try and help here. I'm going to back off, actually. Okay, we can fight her now. I do more damage, I think, than Sonya. And I can I can heal, so... Ah, oh, tits. Not Sonya. Do more damage than Johanna. I thought I could I could heal through her damage there. But it was not to be. We killed three of them. And... I don't know. I don't know. That that was messy. Please save tank. Hammer was too far forward in that fight, I think. Um, so we're going to grab Mystical Spear. This gives us mobility so we can use our spear to pull. Uh, and also it reduces the cooldown of the spear by four seconds. So it goes from an eight second cooldown to a... Sorry, wrong abilities. From a 13 second cooldown to a nine second cooldown. Um, just doing some quick maths. We need to go as a group. Everyone died fairly similarly, so we should be okay here. But Chen needs to come down here as well. Uh, no! No, oh, they want to fight. So what they want to do is they want to fight the enemy and then fight. We can do that, but he will just blink out. So what, what, they wanting, what they're wanting to do here... Actually, this is beautiful because he's just been caught out of position. Is, is they're wanting to uh, kill the enemy team and then take the terror. Uh, which I'm actually happy doing in this situation. Ah, so there's the, there's the benefit of the always pull, basically. I just need to get some fury online so I can spin. I've been eaten. This is not good. There we go. Actually, it's fine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now we have to kill this. I think we, we've done what we need to. I mean, he's chasing Zeratul, and, you know, that's that's all well and good, but we need to we need to do some, some damage. And I've got my Wrath up, so I want to actually hit this before my Wrath there wears off. Because you'll notice that the Q there actually really increased the duration of my Wrath. We're going to use my one for healing. So we can use, turn Fury into heals, uh, and then we're going to spin. Spinning doesn't actually gain you Fury, which is an interesting thing, but my Q does. So we got the Q, and then we can use the spin to heal. And she's fortunately dropped some minions here that I can use to help me. Uh, so I'm going to do that. And also, again, keep popping that one. It's only on a 10-second cooldown is the Ferocious Healing. So you want to heal yourself as much as you really can. Uh, and we'll just pull in and start doing damage to this, remembering that my auto attacks also give me damage. Pop Wrath of the Berserker, because it's off cooldown again. And use my one, and then spin again to try and... Uh, heal up and you'll notice that I've got a decent amount of health now decent amount of shield uh, so that's that's pretty good and it looks like we've got this without bother now I need to go bottom we need to go help Shen so we're gonna go in here like right now basically and look for pulls I don't want to oh I don't want to be caught out in the middle of their team so we can hopefully kill Zeratul here maybe yeah we got Zeratul and then we got to back off uh, and this is exactly what Sonya does is you do damage to sustain your fight we'll use my Q to pull away so I don't get I'm going to get hooked. He's going to think I'm going the other way. This was actually very sneaky. Uh, and you'll notice that Abatha there is actually helping me to get away. Abatha used his clone so that I wouldn't die. And I didn't get pulled by stitches, which is also glorious. We've got our uh, guardian free pushing on the bot, which is fantastic. And I've managed to back off. And I'm just going to I'm gonna go back to base and just heal up here. I, I don't want to aggress by myself. I think me and, me and um, Chen aren't enough to kind of fight here. So what we'll do is we'll back off and we'll refill our fury bar so that we can engage. So here there's like personal preference. You can increase your movement speed from basic and hero attacks, which is good for chasing people down. You can go imposing presence if you feel like, you know, they've got like your the, your like Raynors and stuff auto attack based uh, heroes because this will make life easier. Or you can go nerves of shield that will give you a shield. We're going to grab nerves of steel here um, because it, I think it's, it's good. And I think getting that extra tankiness allows me to do more in a team fight. But you'll notice here I've got top uh, top player damage with this build whilst also being fairly tanky and not dying too much except for when I mess up. So he pulled, I think he pulled Rexar. 
Oh, he pulled Misha. That was absolutely useless. Why did he just try and kidnap Misha? I'm gonna queue. I need to get out of here. I'm getting chased. Holy crap. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Danger. Uh oh, that's a really good hook. So I'm gonna pop my stone shield just to kind of back off here. Pop my ult and then queue in. We're gonna have to engage here. Oh, uh, we're not gonna have to engage. I shouldn't have engaged. He's got a shield up. I can't do anything about it. I thought that they would come in from here and they didn't. And Chen is down the bot. So I thought I thought Rexar would come in. Uh, instead, he didn't. Yeah. I, I should have probably hit, taken the hook for her if I if I had fast enough reactions. And I guess I should have backed out of the fight there. So I thought, oh, I need to try and help her. I'll I'll stay in. And that was the wrong decision. We just need to regroup. Uh, and also, I'm going to pink danger here because this is where I think they're going to be. Chen needs to go with the team. Oh, dear. Rexar, no! Why did you go in? That was danger. I, ping I think I picked danger there, and as a result, he went in. Uh, but now he's on a 40-second cooldown, which is not what we wanted. Like, this is the, the mistake a lot of teams make in Heroes of Storm, is you, once they've killed a couple of you, you start going in one at a time. Uh, and that's really not good. The Immortals are up in 10. Uh, and we need Rexar. We need Rexar to really fight as a unit like going into a fight 4v5 you can win it sometimes you do but we really need rexar to help us in this situation uh he's up in 20 seconds so i think at this point we can just we've just got to focus on on being a bit careful we can go here and we can maybe start hitting this this immortal uh, and this could could work in our favor so we'll, we'll just actually start doing damage on the immortal until rexar shows up uh, i'm gonna pop my wrath again because it's on it like i say it's a short cooldown and we want to get damage out as quickly as we can Rexar needs to come here, like, now. And we're gonna need to fight them. Basically, at this point, we need to fight them. Like, we need to we need to kill them and then take their immortal. Uh, basically. I've got 20 seconds till my ult. Oh, so that's really, really good there. We just destroyed Kel'Thas. We'll pop our shield and we'll pop our heal. And we're gonna do damage to Zagara if I didn't just get eaten, which I did. Hammer is just getting jumped on by Zera... Uh, Oh, what's his name? Zeratul. We can kill him as well. So remember when I said we needed to kill them and then fight? I'm pretty sure I did say that. Alt. And then we'll just spin. They're not gonna- she, she can stun me, but I don't think she's going to. And if we can kill her here, that's really good. He needed to be more careful than he was. I think I can probably do enough damage here. The only one they have up is- Stitches, so I could probably I think I can kill Stitches. If we see this taking damage, then we're gonna we should go and try and kill him. But I don't think he is, I think he's just backed off. Chen yeah, Chen should probably heal. Nah, so Stitches isn't doing damage to that. He's kinda letting us there he is, there's Stitches. Letting us kinda do this by ourselves. Um Kelthos is back up and I need to I'm gonna back out here. So what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna take a lot of damage in this fight. Uh, we need to defend this basically. But I've done a fair amount. Uh, myself, but really, I just, I don't want to fight them. So, I, I, Kel'Thas is here, and I'm gonna have to try and kill him here. Oh, sugar, he's got thing. I'm gonna put my stone shield and my heal, and then back out. Uh, you can see what Kel'Thas is trying to do. The good news is his shield is now down, so we should be able to kill him here, if we're clever. Uh, which, which we should be. We've got Rexar. Rexar, very slow to come back to lane. Pop my heal. We need to defend again. That means Chen needs to stop fighting. I don't think he... What is he doing? Holy crap. He needs to be so much more careful than he's being. Heal on the one. And then we'll, we'll come back around. We want to try and get Zagara, really. Though if we can hit people, we should just hit people. Rexar's dead. Oh, this is so messy. Please, why? I don't get why Chen went in before us. Like, we kind of threw that more than anything. Hammer should be okay. But Chen went in without anyone else, and that wasn't very smart. Uh, and you'll notice here, I've actually, I've taken the most damage, and I've dealt the most damage. But I could really do with dying a bit less. But I think, I think, like, the previous fight was good. It was just a bit messy. We're going to grab Ignore Pain here, activate to gain a shield. This again makes you tankier. So you're dealing all this damage from your early talents. And then at the same time, you're mitigating damage with your actives, uh, which is which is really kind of how you want to do it with your activatable abilities. Um, we need to regroup. Give up the tower. Like, we're better giving up this tower and, and defending here. 
Like, they're, they're going to try and push hard, but if we can regroup, which we should be able to do because we've got six seconds. Uh, we're up in six seconds. We should be we should be okay. Chen needs to back off. Do you remember when I said like Chen goes in? Like he keeps going in alone. That is exactly what I mean here. Uh, I, I actually want to tap well, but I haven't taken any damage. So this is like I can't tap well unless I take some damage. There we go. So now I can tap well. I'll get regen through the fight, which is what we want to do. Uh, we're also going to pop ult here just to clear this as quickly as we can. Again, my, ult, my ult's on a pretty short cooldown and they don't seem to want to aggress too hard. So we should be okay here. And I think we can win this fight. Why? Like, oh my god, I guess he must have gone eaten and then ran away. He says haha feed. It's not that's not funny. Like, I don't think I don't think dying is funny. He just needs to be more careful and he's like, haha, I died ten times. Like, that is that is such a scummy thing to say and to do. Um, and I don't really understand people who do that if I'm honest. Like, it's not funny, I wanna win, and you should be trying to win too. I mean sometimes games go badly or sometimes you mess up, but for sure, you shouldn't just be like, lol, I fed. Isn't that hilarious? Uh, I just, I don't see it. Um, but I think Rex are in general, so maybe not having the best, bestest of games. Hammer's now got more damage than me, but that's expected by the time you hit level 20. She should do a lot more. Oh my god, I just did half his health in two abilities. Yeah, we should retreat. So what I'm actually going to want to do here... I'm not really worried. I can always Q out. So I can use my Q to pull out. We're actually going to run uh, the way he doesn't. Oh shit. I probably should have run the way he thought I was going to run. Oh, look at these jukes. Holy hell. Oh, I'm so good. I'm so good. And they killed Zagara. That's fantastic. I need to come back in here. And we need to fight this. We we can and should fight this. I can, I can get behind Kel'Thas and kill him. Forced out his blink. We'll put my... I can do one, two, and three when I pop out. So there what we did is we reduced the damage that we take, we hit a shield, and we healed ourselves. All in the very quick succession. Uh, that was a really nice stun there. Here, I'm on my way. We need to kill, we need to kill... There we go, got him. We need to kill, we needed to kill Zeratul there, because what he was trying to do is just uh, chase out thing. And we can actually win off this. We can win, I think, if we're careful. Um, we need to take the, t the, the, whatever it's called, terror, and then really just push with it. Um, I think that's basically how we can win this. Pop my one for healing, Q in, and then spin. So we're just spinning to get, again, health. 26 health ticks, uh, you can see there. Though my autos actually heal me for 60, so I should probably have been auto-attacking there rather than spinning. Spinning is a better AoE, and then you can use your W and my Q, and then we'll back off, we'll pop my one as well. Um, but really, I think we've done pretty well this game in kind of showcasing what, uh, what I can do. We can actually kill, I think, Sonya, not Sonya, Johanna here. I think she's she's kind of bitten off more than we can chew. We'll pop my ult. She's gonna probably get across, possibly get across the wall here. Now nah, we got her. So she shouldn't have gone in there. What she, she just basically threw this game now because they have no tank. Um, so we're in a we're in a fairly healthy position here. Um, you can see Chen actually baiting, waiting for the team to come in, and maybe we should have done that. Maybe that would have been a good plan. But for now, I think we can just do damage. And I'm one of our main damage dealers, so I should make sure I focus on that. Um, but this, this comp is quite good, like I say, because we have a lot of tank. So for the extended fights you get around this area, you're going to have a, uh, a lot of luck. Um, but they've just kind of given up on the Immortal, and then we just push. We should definitely push with the Immortal, uh, depending on where he goes. And we'll also get some orbs. When he comes here, he drops two regen orbs. We need to push with it here. Like, we just need to. Uh, I'm just going to go in and stop killing minions. So here we can spin. And when we spin, we get we get a lot of benefits. We get lots of health, and we're in a pretty healthy position. Oh, look at that Stitches pull. He really went for it there. I think Stitches is a tricky character to play, because he relies on bringing the enemy to you rather than pushing. And they really need to be hitting this now, which they're not doing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull in here and, and hit that and take that out straight away. Uh, and then kill minions as well. Make sure we're just clearing and giving them a hard time. Uh, we also want to look for Zeratul. Zeratul is going to try and go for Hammer here. If Zeratul goes for anyone, Zeratul is going to go for Hammer. I have been eaten, so when we pop out, we'll pop our hardened skin. And our heal, and our shield. And we'll just take you out. And then we'll just come in behind Zagara and win, hopefully. Look at this. Oh, nice stasis. Really nice stasis. Um, we can we can still win off this. He's got, uh, like, a full bar of health still. He's, they haven't even taken off the shield. So we just want to be a bit careful. The enemy team is going to be healing up. Uh-oh. She should be able to rush out of that. Uh, and I'm just trying to zone them off for a little bit. Basically just, you know, help the team. 
Oh, there too. I need to just auto attack, I think. Nah, I'm dead. Unfortunately, I'm dead. But their base, uh, let's have a look. I don't think we're gonna quite kill it. That's the problem. I think we're gonna do decently, but not quite enough. 50% health. That's pretty good. Uh, I think at this point they'll just go and take camps. They're gonna clear minions and they're gonna go and take camps. And it's up to maybe the next tribute. I think we we didn't quite kill them at the wall, and if we killed them at the wall we would have gotten the uh, base. But because we didn't kill them there, they went back and healed up and managed to kind of push us out of their base. But I think Rexar taking this camp is the right decision, and then he needs to retreat uh, and just kind of get out of the fight a little bit so that we're in a safer position, effectively. Yeah, that's, that's probably the best. Take the camp and then and then just retreat. He needs to back off. No, you need to you need to retreat. Like he's he's gonna if he gets picked off, we we're gonna have a hard time. We need the team and we need to roam as a five, and we can then take our picks. We've been killing Kelthars really kind of consistently at the start of fights, which is really good. Um, but we need to wait for Rexar and we need to regroup. Um, and you can tell that they're what they're trying to do is is put pressure on us with jungle camps. Uh, so now we want to group up. We want to basically group together. Rexar needs to come down here. Uh, which I think he's doing. Yeah, he's coming to us, which is good. And in the meantime, we can kind of clean out these minions. Um, you can see them grouped up top, which is which is fine. Uh, I'm just going to try and get my fury up as quickly as I can before we fight. Um, so there we go. That's pretty decent fury. And then we'll just spin here to, to clear these minions. Uh, we need to now go defend top. And we can come in as a team and defend this. They, they, the problem is we're all, we're all bot, so they they basically went to push top because we stopped the, the minions. And they'll probably take this tower or this fort. Though I think we can actually engage on this if we're clever. Not quite, not quite. Mm, we've got we've got the ghost Sonya. So if ghost Sonya goes in, which she did. Oh, he's eating everyone. That's actually not that useful. Oh, crap. That is more useful. Zeratul, Zeratul. Holy crap, Zeratul. Oh no! I got killed by minions! That's that's disappointing. Chen. Chen is putting in work. Is he got her? He's got her. Now Kel'Thas, Kel'Thas, Kel'Thas. They can kill Kel'Thas here, for sure. They've got they've got too many people. If they keep chasing him, he'll stun him. You ready? You ready? Stun? Stun? There you go. And then put the damage out and Kel'Thas should be dead. Don't stun still, don't stun still, don't stun still. Oh dear. I think Chen and Hama can, can do this if they're careful. Like, it's Chen and Hama versus Zeratul. As, as long as they stick together and be aware of him, they should be fine. They need to be careful for Zera, basically. Like, she's doing damage, and she should be ulting him, really. Uh, yeah, she's got her ult underneath him, so that it does, does AoE damage. I'm up in 17 seconds, but Stitches is up in 6. Uh, but we've got Abatha as well, and Abatha hopefully is gonna, is gonna help here. Uh... Hama has really strong range at the moment, um, so you notice how much of the area she's actually covering, and that's going to give them a bad time. See, for example, Zeratul should be dead here, because even though he blinked to the end out, he was in her range, and that was a really nice job. Like, Zeratul needs to be careful when you have um, Hammers who have graduating range, because she just sits in position there and sieges up and then covers the entire map, basically. I'm up now. Rexar's not quite up, but honestly, it's going to be very hard for the enemy team to really deal with this. Uh, and this will then push down bottom lane, and we'll have a lot of fun. I'm just gonna try and kill Johanna here, I think. I got eaten by stitches. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. Ah, uh, we've, we've zoned him out. So long as Hammer's okay. I'm just going to try and do damage here and, and get healing back. I probably actually shouldn't pop my E here because it does less healing than everything else I can do. Though we can use my wand to, to, to turn um, turn uh, uh, Fury into health as well. But we've basically zoned them out and we've got another full health, terror, guardian, whatever. Immortal. I keep calling them guardians, but they're called immortals and that's really bad for the enemy team. Um, I'm actually going to hit this wall because it'll give me health. So there you go. The reason I'm, I'm hitting the wall there is just to give me health. There was a, there was a tactical decision. Um, and we've actually completely cracked open their base, so they're going to need to be awfully careful. I'm going to spin in these minions again, uh, just to get the AoE health, and that's that's nice and tasty. Turn Fury into health as well, uh, and we're just going to wait for the- we just need to wait for him to show up. She, she's invisible, so they can't actually see her, um, so I'm just trying to bait them towards me. 
We can then use my shield and my stone skin, uh, and my alt, and my heal, and we're just gonna try and hit this fellow here. I'm probably gonna die here, but that's okay. I maybe should have been a little bit more careful there. But I was just trying to zone the enemy team out. Um, the problem is that they're not killing the the Guardian Immortal, and the Immortal's killing the core, so that's GG. And well played! Um, and that's Sonya, and I think I think that build works. I needed to work on dying a little bit less and initiating, you know, at the right time. But I think overall, we got less kills than them, but we did a hell of a lot more. I did 62,000 player damage, which I think is, is decent for a tank. Uh, and was top damage taken, which I think is also good. Um, and that puts a score on this. So another win for, for Team Francesca, which is always nice. Uh, but let me know what you thought of the build in the comments below and uh, how, you would, how you would change it or who you would play instead of Sonya or how you would play her differently and if you want me to play anyone specific next week do say in the comments below I do read them and take your suggestions on board uh, beyond that you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the killer bits or if you're a twitterer you can find us at the killer bits uh, and if you want to support us with these kind of uh, build videos and whatnot uh, you know getting the latest heroes isn't always cheap then we have a patreon at patreon.com forward slash the killer bits even a dollar kind of helps towards the costs of running this channel. Uh, beyond that, have a great day. Try and be good. If you can't be good, don't be bad. I've been, fres I've been Fresca. No, I've been Francesca. This is Heroes of the Tom. That was Sonya. She's she's definitely tricky as warriors go because she's not typically tanky. She gets her tankiness from damage. But I think she's a hell of a lot of fun. And then when you build in these tank talents towards the end, you, you tend to pack a punch. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next week with another build. Bye.